Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how we can use lists with for loops. Let's get started. Alright, so we have talked about for loops before and if you recall uh, we, we, we did something like this where we had um, for and then we had like a variable name. In fact I've got, I've got one right up here actually so before I delete that we, we can compare it to lines 25 and 26 uh, from the previous video but uh, when we had a for loop we would say like for and then we would put a variable name like I or it, you know we can pick whatever variable name we like and then we had the keyword in and then we used range for or whatever you know it doesn't have to be for but um, and then and then we had a colon and then an indent and then we gave it some instructions to do uh, with i and the idea was that it would set i equal to zero then i equal to one then i equal to two and then i equal to three up to but not including the four that we gave it so we can give it some very simple instructions just to uh, recall what a for loop is doing so I'll just have it print i and I'm actually going to comment out all of this stuff here so now the only uh, instructions that the computer is going to read uh, are uh, 29 and 30 lines 29 and 30 I'm going to clear the console and uh, let's let's uh, I think it's safe to clear the variable explorer too so let me do that okay great so I'm going to save my program control s and then I'm going to run it and you see it prints you know I was 0 and then I was 1 I was 2 I was 3 up to and not including the 4. Now the reason it does this is because the range function which you don't know a whole lot about but uh, the range function returns a, a, a list like variable and it returns what's called a sequence but you can think of what it's returning as something like a list that goes from uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. So that, that's what you can, you can uh, think of range 4 as doing up to but not including the, the 4 so 0, 1, 2, 3 in a list and so really technically what a for loop is doing and what the in you know it works with this keyword in technically what it's doing is it's a for loop repeats the code block once for each item in a list I'll say that again it repeats this block once for each item in the list so uh, you know there's item 0 item 1 item 2 item 3 um, just to emphasize this, we can we can do the same exact thing by saying something like this: for i in zero, one, two, three, like this colon uh, print i. Okay, so now I'm going to comment out lines 29 and 30, which I just did, right? And then I'm going to clear the console. Yes, and then I'm going to save it and run it. And so you'll see here I've got the same output, 0, 1, 2, 3. So you see how the for loop is working with the list. It's taking each item in the list separately. That's really cool and that's really useful. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of uh, emphasize this or, or, or build on this. And I'm going to delete these, these small lines here. And let's let's write a, a slightly more complicated code here. Let's say I have um, a list of supplies, like office supplies, and maybe my uh, supplies includes uh, pens, right? So that's first in the list, and then uh, maybe, oops, maybe it includes like um, staplers, and maybe it includes. <laughs> binders and if, if you're following along in the textbook maybe it, it includes flamethrowers right or uh, whatever right what, whatever whatever needs to be in your office supplies um, and then maybe some markers right? okay so here are our supplies and um, maybe I just want to print all of the supplies one at a time so I can say four I or whatever variable I can call this whatever I want for I in range um, lang supplies right I could do that and then I would have like a print statement here 
uh, where we would print uh, each supply. Uh, however, what I'm going to do instead is show you that I can say for i in we'll we'll even we'll even emphasize that it's the item so we'll say for item in supplies print supply of print item print the item right so so this is going to set item equal to pens and then it's going to print item so it's going to print pens then it's going to come back up set item equal to staplers, and then it's going to print item, which is staplers, then and so on. So uh, we'll 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 check that out. We'll control S, and run it, and there we there we have it. It prints pens, then staplers, then binders, then flamethrowers, then markers. So that's again very useful. Um, and maybe we want to know like the index of these things too. You can imagine a situation where we want to know like. Maybe maybe this is like an ordered, um, you know, situation. Uh, like like maybe for some reason pens is like first on the list, and uh, you know it's of highest priority or something. So maybe we want to know like we want to print out like pens is index zero, staplers is index one, and so on. We can use um, what's called uh, the enumerate function, and so um, I'm just going to change my for loop just a little bit here, and we're going to say. Um, actually, I'm going to comment it out so that we can compare. So I'm going to say for index. So now I'm, I'm going to ask the for for the index as well. So I'm going to ask for the index, and I'm still going to ask for the item in, and I'm going to say enumerate. Enumerate means to like order a list. Enumerate supplies. So this enumerate function is going to return uh, a list of the uh, supplies, but it's also going to return the index of each of the supplies. So zero, one, two, three, four in this case. And so I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to save the index as variable index, and I'm going to save the item as variable item. And what I can do here now is uh, put my colon there, indent, and I can put a you know just a print statement, print. And what do I want to print here? How about index, and then uh, space, and then we're going to convert the index to a string because index will be an int, right? Zero or one or two or three. So we'll convert the index to a string so I can concatenate it, and then we'll 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 concatenate with that in supplies is colon. And then we'll print the item. Now the item is already a string because it's pens or staplers or binders or flamethrowers or markers. So I don't need to convert it to a string again. And um, I guess that's my for loop. So I'll control S and I'll clear the console so we can get start fresh. And I'll run that. Okay, so now you see we've got index 0 in supplies is pens, index 1 in supplies is staplers, and so on. The point of this simple example is to show you how enumerate works with the for loop. And uh, again, enumerate returns the index along with the item. And so uh, as the for loop iterates through the list, right? so for example, it, it's going to index 0, which is pens. We can print the index, and we can print the item in this case would be index 0 and item pens. Then the for loop comes back around and it considers the next item in the list which is at index 1. So then we would print index 1 and, uh, and the item is staplers. And we keep going all the way to index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 mar which is markers and it prints the index is 4 and uh, the item is markers. So that's very useful. That could be very useful for us to, um, you know, arrange, gather, and edit our data inside this loop using the list uh, data type. Thank you.